aluminum is the quiet trickster of the periodic table. Unlike gold or silver, no ancient temple ever displayed pure aluminum because it doesn't exist in a free metallic state. It hides inside bauxite and clays, bound so tightly to oxygen that for most of human history it was invisible. Only in 1800 did chemists learn to coax it out, and for a brief moment it was more valuable than gold. Napoleon served honored guests on aluminum plates, while everyone else ate from plain silver. Metaphysically, the late arrival of aluminum gave it a different kind of reputation. It's a connection, a metal that wants to travel, to link and to conduct. Light in weight but strong in presence, it carries electricity without resistance, a perfect symbol for ideas that move faster than tradition can hold them. In magical language, Aluminum resonates with motion and skill. Practitioners use small pieces to spark the mental energy, to sharpen learning, to accelerate projects that feel stuck. Because it reflects light so well, it is also seen as a shield against unwanted influence, mirroring negativity back to its source. Think about the world it built. Aircraft, satellites, long-distance cables. Every modern network relies on this one hidden element. It teaches that what was locked away in stone can suddenly become the very fabric of connection. If you work with metals, aluminum invites a question. Where in your life is something is waiting to be freed from its old compound? What idea or skill or relationship is ready to conduct more energy than you imagine. Aluminum reminds us that the newest discoveries can carry the oldest magic. A metal of movement, reflection, a quiet revolution coming with electricity of change. <laughs>